when they say that he hated Britain, I, I was not willing to put up with that because my father loved Britain. My father served in the Royal Navy. He was a refugee who came here. He found security in this country. He, he, he took great comfort from what this country offered him. And I'm speaking out as a son. And I, I was appalled when I read the Daily Mail on Saturday and I saw them saying he hated Britain. It's a lie. I'm even more appalled that they've repeated that lie today and they've gone further and described my father's legacy as evil. Now, evil is a word re reserved for, for particular cases and, and I wasn't willing to let that stand and that's why I've spoken out and that's why I've said what I've said and, and I'm speaking out on behalf of my family. Look, I expect to get criticised. That comes with the territory. That's absolutely fine. That's the way it should be. Uh, but, but I'm not willing to let my father's good name be besmirched and undermined in the way that the Daily Mail are doing. This is not about regulation. It's about right and wrong. And it's about the way we conduct political debate in this country. Uh, and I think there are boundaries. Uh, and I think that newspapers uh, and people across politics uh, mustn't overstep those boundaries. Not because it's not about government or politics stepping in and stopping that happening. It's about the way we conduct our debate. And, and I think this raises an issue about the way we conduct debates in this country. But what I'm interested in is defending my father's good name. Uh, and I don't want the British people to think that my father hated this country because he loved Britain. Uh, and you know, when the Daily Mail not only says that, but publishes a photo uh, on their website of his gravestone, with a, with a pun about it, saying he was a grave socialist. I, I'm furious because, you know, what is political debate coming to in this country when this happens? So that's why I've spoken out. It's an unusual step to speak out. Uh, you know, I, I don't do it lightly, but, but I am not willing to see my father's good name undermined in this way. I've spoken to my brother and I've spoken to my mum uh, and they feel the same way that I do. Uh, and they feel that the thing that I think both of them feel is it feels so jarring with what we know about my dad. You know, I, I think I know my dad better than anybody, and as does David and my mum. And, and he was somebody, you know, when we used to go on holiday, what was the thing he looked forward to the most? It was coming back to Britain because he loved this country so much because it gave him such a sense of security. He was a refugee. You know, he, he fled from Belgium at the age of 16 with his father. You know, he walked 100 kilometres to get one of the last boats out of Belgium. Britain saved his life. It saved his life. And this paper is saying that, that he hated Britain. And that is a lie. That is a lie. And, and I'm not willing to, to, to let it stand.